Hello and welcome back to Wisdom Discovery, the Enlightenment Zone and Prayer Center. This is a new series called Using Fuel to Understand the Preaching of Christ and Him Crucified. Fuel, as we know, stands for Freedom Using Enlightenment Slides. This video is tied to the falling of Adam and Eve. We all seek freedom, but most people are not free. Part of this is that they do not have the truth. Jesus said in John 8 and 32, and you would know the truth regarding salvation and the truth will set you free from the penalty of sin. John 8 and 36 said, if the Son makes you free, then you will be unquestionably free. Both verses are based on believing Jesus Christ, who was the Word or is the Word and became flesh. So we wouldn't be in bondage and die in our sin. Some folks had the truth, but sold out. And the truth has been taken away from them. Once a remnant, but no more. As they bow down to Baal, and Satan has the right to and owns their soul. Due to earthly gain and ignorance, many souls are snared. That is Psalms 94 and 25. People put themselves in bondage, by obeying anything other than the word of God and the laws of the land. And hopefully the laws of the land align with the word of God. In the book of Genesis 1 and 26 reads, Then God said, Let us, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, make man in our image, according to our likeness, not physical, but a spiritual personality, and a moral likeness and let them have complete authority over the fish of the sea the birds of the air the cattle and over the entire earth and over everything that creeps and crawls on the earth our spiritual personality has authority over everything on earth Jesus put it this way in Luke 10 and 19. Behold, I have given you authority and power to trample upon the serpents and scorpions, physical and mental strength and ability over all the power that the enemy possesses. And nothing shall in any way harm you. However, we must bear in mind that we must activate the word of God. Apostle Paul said in 1 Corinthians 4 and 20, for the kingdom of God is not in word, but in power. God's word is not automatic. We must mix it with faith and our faith must be built up. Then this faith becomes power. Intensified when we pray in our most holy faith in tongues. Also, hearing God's promise about a situation over and over accumulates faith. When we are charged up, the enemy cannot mess with us. But to be charged up, one must pay the price, which is in prayer, being in the word, fasting, etc. I know we all have different ways of engaging spiritually. Truth be told, we must be connected to the Holy Spirit for the power to flow. Going back to the book of Genesis, Adam was created, 
Then later came Eve, so husband and wife, as we see, and they were in the Garden of Eden. The Garden of Eden, in the original Hebrew language, we get Gan and Eden, which means heaven or paradise. by the serpent the devil and she ate from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil which God forbade them to eat in Genesis 22 reads and the Lord said behold the man has become like one of us father the son and the Holy Spirit knowing how to distinguish between good and evil. And now he might stretch out his hand and take from the tree of life as well and eat its fruit and live forever in his fallen condition. The Lord God, however, sent Adam and Eve from the garden of Eden to till and cultivate the ground from which he was taken. Verse 24, so God drove man out and at the east of the Garden of Eden, he permanently stationed the cherubim and the sword with the flashing blade, which turned round and round in every direction to protect and guard the way, entrance access to the tree of life. From there onwards, man's relationship with God separated. And as we see, Adam and Eve were kicked out of the Garden of Eden, paradise. God's original intention was for man to live forever. However, after eating the apple, all of that dramatically changed. Adam's fallen nature was transferred to humans, hence the topic using foil to preach Christ and him crucified. God's punitive action for Adam's sin was to send his son to die for humanity. For without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sin, same as remission of sin, and that is Hebrews 9 and 22. And this was actually prophesied many years before Christ came. We see this in verses such as Genesis 3 and 15. And I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and her offspring. He will bruise and tread your head on the foot and you would lie in wait and bruise his heel. This is God talking to the snake. The above verse is interesting as God said this in the same chapter where Adam and Eve ate the apple, indicating that God had an immediate solution to the problem at hand. God, the creator of the universe, the heavens and the earth, has a quick solution to our issues. But we must bear in mind that God is never early nor late. He is an on-time God and he, makes, he always makes a way of escape at the right time. Amen. Another verse is Isaiah 7 and 14, which reads, Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign and behold the young woman 
who is unmarried and a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Manuel, which means God with us. According to BibleStudy.com, the above verse was written 700 years before the birth of Christ. We also see Micah 5 and 2. But you, Bethlehem, Ephrata, you are little to be among the clans of Judah, yet out of you shall one come forth from me, who is to be ruler in Israel, whose goings forth have been from of old the ancient days, eternity. Jesus' place of birth, Bethlehem, the above verse was written 800 years before Christ Jesus came to earth. There are also verses in the Old Testament prophesying the death of Jesus Christ, such as. Psalm 22 and 1, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Jesus said the exact words on the cross, and that is in Matthew 27 and 46 and Mark 15 and 34. Um, Isaiah 53 and 5, he was wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our guilt and iniquity. The chastisement needed, needful to obtain peace and well-being for us was upon him and with the stripes that wounded him we are healed and made whole Isaiah 53 and 7 he was oppressed he was afflicted yet he did not open his mouth to complain or defend himself like a lamb that is led to the slaughter and like a sheep that is silent before her sharers, he did not open his mouth. We see all these verses written by prophets long before Jesus Christ, the Messiah, came. As it is written in Moses 3 and 7, Surely the Lord God does nothing without revealing his secret plan of judgment to come to his servants, the prophet. God revealed Jesus Christ coming to earth to many of the Old Testament prophets. Messiah is defined as the promised deliverer of the Jewish nation. Prophesied in the Hebrew Bible, um, Christians, we do regard Jesus as our Messiah savior of mankind some jewish people recognize christ as the messiah but most jewish people do not recognize jesus as their messiah jesus was born to a jewish mother called mary conceived by the holy spirit of the virgin mother let's close in prayer Father God, we praise you, Lord, as we come into your presence in Jesus' name. We cleanse ourselves with the precious blood of Jesus from the top of our head to the sole of our feet. We thank you, Father, that we hear your voice and the voice of strangers, manipulators. We will never follow in Jesus name. I declare and I declare that your will be done on earth as it is in heaven in Jesus name. I decree that souls that don't know you 
because the enemy has blinded their eyes will now know you as I speak to their spiritual eyes, to the spiritual eyes of people around the world to be open right now in Jesus' name. Father God, we pray for world leaders that you give them wisdom to govern their respective countries and stop the shedding of blood that is already on some leaders' hands in Jesus' name. Father God, I release your blessing on your people, which includes divine favor, open doors, abundant provision, peace, and joy in Jesus' name. I declare that they are kept safe and they are always at the right place at the right time in Jesus' name. I decree no weapon formed against your people shall prosper, not even one in Jesus' name. I speak healing to those in need of healing and I declare that they are healed by Jesus' stripes. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.